Okay, now that we're inside of Adobe Muse, let's go ahead and create that custom menu. So at the top, you can see we've got our menu here that's just got the normal pages. If we want to create a custom menu that we can set up the links and all the options ourselves, we do it in the exact same way, but we just have to adjust some of the settings. So once again, we're just going into our widgets library and just go ahead and drag in a horizontal menu. From here, just drag it into the scene just like before. And this time in the options panel, just make sure you change it from top level pages to manual. Once you do this, you'll see that it just becomes like one button. And then from there, we just need to add each individual button for each kind of task that we want it to do. So the way that we do that is we just have to quickly click the edge of our menu here. And then you can see we've got the little plus buttons. And by clicking these, you can create a button to the left or to the right of this and just sort of get the look that you're after. So I'm going to go ahead and create another one. And if I want to create another one, I go ahead and do the same thing. Just click the next button and so on and so forth. So for example, if I wanted to change all of these options set up links it's quite simple so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly change the text on these just individually select the button just double click it and then just sort of use the text tool and just go ahead and change the names on that so for this I'm just going to go ahead and set the first one to YouTube second one is going to be Twitter and then the third one is going to be Facebook once we've done that, we'll go ahead and show you how to create the hyperlinks for these. So doing that is once again, it's pretty simple. All we've got to do is just go ahead and select the button. Make sure you're individually selecting the button as well. So you've only got one selected because what you don't want to do is hyperlink the whole menu um, and then that could just mess things up. So just go ahead and select the button that you want. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and link this little YouTube button that I've got here to my YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to hyperlinks in the top, you know, the top middle and I'm just going to go and type in a link so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that just type in wherever you want it to go you can tell this to go to a web page on your website already you can just define a link like I am now or you know you can just do it all kinds of different ways any of the normal link styles will work for this so now let's go ahead and try that out and just make sure that it's working so I'm just gonna quickly preview my site in the browser and just to see that and give it a second to load give it a second there you are and you can see we've got a menu here with our different options YouTube Twitter and Facebook so let's go and try and open up YouTube and see what happens. And in a couple of moments, it should take me straight to the YouTube channel and that is working great. Now, if you want to go ahead and link up your Twitter, your Facebook and all of that kind of stuff, you can do. Uh, one other thing that I do want to say before we do end off the video is that you can style these buttons in all the same ways that you would with any other menu. So you just go ahead and go in there, change the fill color, um, change the stroke, you can add effects and you can also change like the hover state as well from here to so roll over, mouse down and act and so on so for now I'm just gonna leave it at this just go ahead and play around with some of the different settings to you know change the look of things but hopefully you guys now know how to create a custom menu and should be able to get the functionality that you need make sure you stay tuned for the next video where we'll be working on uh, getting the menu at the top pinned over the website so when we scroll down it's always on the screen there's plenty of cool stuff to do so thanks for watching make sure you smash that like button share the video and I will see you next time goodbye